uh, putting rebar into either apron slabs or, or floor slabs. One thing we'll do is we'll put in concrete chairs and there's manufactured like plastic chairs that you can use or you can like in this case we've just got these little bricks um, and basically all they're there for is you set the rebar on it and that way the rebar is not just right down sitting on the dirt when you pour that concrete. Yeah so once we've set that wet screen along the wall to the line we're gonna get concrete out to here we're gonna set the height of this pin that's the top of our slab then we're gonna pound that pin down in there. A lot of times we'll set a taller pin beside it to find it easy. Since we only have one on this slab, shouldn't be an issue. Once we've found that, we'll actually hand board a nice wet screed out to here. It's gonna set the height in a line from here and then we can grab that magic screed and walk that out. And then we'll go on this side, walk that out. And then when we get back there, we're gonna float that along the edge. Same thing, repeat. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, we just, sent a little down the chute here. It's a little too stiff yet for our liking, so we're adding a little more water to it, wet it up a little more. Makes it easier to make a nice finish, spread it out nice and easily. So you always want to take a look at it a little bit when it comes down the chute before you get too much on the ground. Make sure it's nice. Pouring this slab. Gotta be super clear when you're talking to the concrete truck drivers. The head! Good! Just like that, eh, Mikey? So right here somewhere is where that pin is. Right there, there's the pin. So we're gonna find that pin. We're gonna make a nice pad right there. Set it exactly to that pin. So that's the top of our slab. We run a string across here earlier and set it. Then we're gonna take the hammer and we're gonna pound that down in there. So now that's height set. We wanna get this piece of rebar down in there so it doesn't affect the surface of the concrete. Smooth that back over, beautiful. And then what we're gonna do so nobody messes this up, so we'll throw a big X on there. We know that's our spot and that's set to height. See in here, we got that line snap against the wall. We wanna set our concrete to that line now. So jiggle it into that line. And we're gonna pull any excess away. Of course, we're setting to the top of the board on the side here. And then see how you just give it a little jiggle like that. It's gonna help it fill in a little nicer against the wall so you don't have little voids along there. Sometimes you just tip this on its side. If you got a bit too much in there, you can pull it away like that. And we wanna set that nice and flat all the way along. So, wet screed. We wanna set between these two points here. Make sure we're not accidentally going low on that end. So that's pretty nice. That should work for us. Let's see, we got, we're already set to the height out here. So we'll set another one between these points. Looks like we're a little short on concrete over here. But that's pretty nice. That'll do the trick. Looks like the next truck's here. Let's go. Okay, so you see how one end's gonna be on that wet screed and one end's on this other wet screed. And we're just gonna pull. You kinda gotta keep your shoulders elevated with these things. You don't wanna give them too much throttle. And you wanna kinda fill in your boot tracks while you're going. See how nice that makes it, eh? You don't wanna see any little weird pockets coming out the back of this or you know you're a bit too low. We're gonna pull back this way just so that we keep the concrete in the pad here instead of dumping it out the end. Because as you can see behind us, we need a little bit more here still. Oh. See, this is raked almost perfectly. This is what you wanna see it looking like. Pretty nice, Jake. That's sweet, man. Works so good. Yeah, that's sweet.